So this is an example of a sigmoid volvulus. So we have a large gas filled distended viscous extending from the pelvis up to the upper abdomen. It may point to the left side, it may point to the right side or centrally. The crease down the middle may or may not be very clearly visible. That's known as the coffee bean sign. Really important sign here is look for a normal cecum and ascending colon. And that tells you that this can't be cecal volvulus. And you won't see a normally positioned sigmoid in the left flank. So this confirms that this is a sigmoid volvulus, which ideally then should be confirmed on a CT to also look for complications. And the other one is the cecal volvulus. So here again, a gas filled distended viscous pointing a little bit more horizontally this time with additional distended loops of small bowel. Because remember, this is a proximal large bowel obstruction. And if the ileocecal valve is incompetent, you'll get reflux of gas into the distal small bowel. And we don't see a normally located cecum and ascending colon, but we do see a normally located sigmoid. So that again confirms for us that this is a cecal volvulus.